Hello Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you this is a general reading. All right, I have already shuffled and meditated over the cards, so we're just going to get right into them. Okay, so laid before you is your spiritual advice card. And you have received the Ten of Swords. Now this card is generally about somebody um, hurting you, victimizing you, betraying you. But with this particular card and this particular deck... And with it being in your spiritual sector, I really feel like this card is all about healing. Uh, it's about putting those past hurts behind you, about understanding um, what those past hurts are, but also understanding that they only have as much power as you give them. So, um, if you can see the artwork all right, you know, you have a witch and a circle of swords, but she is binding um, some kind of fruit, and it's like binding negativity, binding it up, getting it prepared to um, to go, to be get got rid of. You know, she's most likely going to burn it or do something with it. Um, the boars are in the foreground. Boars are a symbol of healing. So it's really about putting your past hurts behind you and moving forward um, with, with healing and regeneration. So that's a great card to get for your spiritual sector. Okay, so moving forward with your earth card, with your work and your finances and your career, you have the Five of Swords upright. The Five of Swords can represent um, winning and losing. Okay, it's kind of like a kind of like a double-edged sword situation. So I, I, you know, financially, I feel like you're doing all right, but like inside. It, um, inside the workplace or your dealings or whatever it is that you do um, with other people I feel like there could be some underhandedness you know an opportunity to um, either get one over on somebody or somebody get one over on you or to take advantage of a situation or a person for your own financial gain or vice versa. Um, I feel like there is a chance for um, some sleight of hand tricks there, you know, um, underhandedness. And uh, some dishonesty could be going on in the workplace. Um, if this is coming from you, I don't really recommend that you go through with it. You know, even though it may be easy for you to do, it may be kind of like handed to you on a platter, like this person has no idea um, what's going on, and it could be so easily done. It's more of an ethical issue, um, a moral e uh, issue. Um, you know, we don't want bad karma coming our way later on. Um, if this is being done to you, it's, you know, you just need to have your eyes open. You need to be aware that this could be going on, that not everybody is as trustworthy as they may seem. But either way, I don't feel like this is something that's going to hurt anybody in an extreme way um, or hurt yourself in, ex in a, an extreme way. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be anything um, major like that. Uh, I think it's something that is more like just questioning your own, what will I do? You know, your own morality or your own ethical um, guidelines there of what will you do, what will you not do, where do you draw the lines? And it's also um, on more of a spiritual level when it comes to your your work and your finances and that type of thing. It's about being appreciative 
of the situation that you're in, your financial situation, your work and career situation, and and understanding that, you know, it, I mean, if you're not happy where you're at, um, you, you need to understand that this is most likely a stepping stone and to see it as that and to see it for what it is and to appreciate it for what it is because you can't get to that next level without the stepping stone. But if you, you know, if this is it, if this is like for the highest that you're going, um, to, un you know, to be appreciative of it because look at where you have been. Look at all the sacrifices you have made. And it's a good time to question, you know, are all the sacrifices that I've made, were they worth it, worth, you know, what I've gained? You know, some, some of you are going to say they were, they were worth it. Maybe you didn't have to sacrifice too much. Um, but some of you are going to say, you know, have some regrets there. This could be um, a card that symbolizes um, a bit of regret. And, um, but you know, it's good to face that regret because we don't want to keep repeating these past mistakes or these past decisions that, you know, have put us in this regretful um, mindset. So, you know, there may be some situations that need some analyzing when it comes to your dealings with other people um, on how you make your money. And, and, you know, you don't want any dishonesty with other people or with yourself. So, try to remember that. Okay, for your air card, with your thoughts and your communications with your friends and your family, you have the Nine of Pentacles. That's a beautiful card to get. The Nine of Pentacles is about being content. It's about being happy in your situation. It's it's about being happy with your mindset. It's about being happy with um, the communications and dealings you're having with your family, with your friends, with whoever you share your home with, if you share your home with anybody. And if you don't share your home with anybody, this card still symbolizes being content with that and happy. And um, some of you are going to um, have your mind thinking, you know, this is what I want, you know, planning out, like, what kind of family life do you want? What kind of people do you want surrounding you? Do you want children? Do you want a wife? Do you want a husband? Do you want, um, whatever? You're, you're going to be thinking about this, you know, for those of you who are, you know, haven't quite got there yet in life, you're, the, these things are going to be on your mind. But the main thing is, is, you know, you're content, you're happy, you're, you know, your mind is on a very positive um, wave, and, and that's wonderful. Okay, with your fire card, with your challenges and your actions, you have the harvest card in reverse. This card is much like the world card. And this card is positive, whether it's upright or in reverse, but it does have a little more of a negative undertone when it's in reverse. Um, you know, the harvest card is about, um, you know, reaping what you've sowed. It's about enjoying the, um, the, the rewards that you have worked hard to receive. Um, when it's in reverse, though, it's like something is kind of missing. It's like you didn't quite get everything that you thought you would get. You didn't reap every investment that you have put in. Um, and, you know, that's okay because it, it, does, it leaves room for growth. It leaves room to think, you know, well, um, I mean, just like, I mean, this could... This could be uh, in any area of your life. I'm just using, a, I'll use a garden as um, a metaphor or an analogy or however. Um, you know, if your tomatoes didn't turn out this year, you get to think, why? Why did my tomatoes not turn out this year? You know, did, did I plant them in a proper spot? Are they getting enough sunlight? Um, are, are there enough bees in this area? Are they getting pollinated um, correctly? What may I do... Um, to help their pollination process. Um, did I spread them out evenly? Did I, 
you know, uh, whatever you this is a time where you can think what well, whatever area it is in your life that hasn't been as fruitful as you've hoped um, you this is the month to think about you know what can I do in the future to make this area more fruitful so you know this is about planning and this can be a challenge because you know it's it is it's planning it's it's analyzing what didn't turn out the way I expected it to and why and what can I do to make it better but this is a good thing okay this is something that's good so um, keep that in mind even if it's challenging because I'm sure it's it's not just gardening for a lot of you or for most of you I'm pretty sure of that um, it's some other area in your life that you're trying to improve and it's going to be more challenging than just tomatoes so um, so yeah it may be a little daunting but I think that you're up for the task and it's something that is positive and needs to be done okay for your water card with your love life and your emotions you have the witch now this is the same thing as the magician card and the you know traditional tarot um, emotionally I think that you are pretty content you have felt and accepted where you've been and who you've been and where you are and who you are so this isn't really so much about um, being in love with somebody if that is what you are seeking and really longing um, I think that you're doing what you need to be doing um, to achieve that but I don't really see it coming because this is the time to really focus on yourself and for those of you who are already coupled um, that's okay that's fine I mean you can be coupled you can be married you can be in a very um, committed long-term relationship but still focus on yourself and being happy and content with your own emotions and not so much depending on another person to make you happy because that's our own responsibility that's our sole responsibility to make ourselves happy um, so this is the month to understand that and to do that and you are doing that that's wonderful it's everything is coming into a culmination and into fruition and and that's you know you're feeling that you're feeling at one with the earth you're feeling at one with your situation and at one with the universe and and that's great um, you know you're controlling your own destiny and you're opening yourself up this card can um, represent opening yourself up to new situations to new people um, to further your growth So that that is your reading in its entirety. I hope that you found it helpful. Uh, it's a very positive reading. I, I, you know, that's the way I interpreted it. Uh, so that's very good news. If you did find this helpful, please remember to push the like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And um, and leave me a comment. I I love to hear from you. And that is <laughs> that is it. Until next time, and God bless.